Bond in the Kitchen. Always fun to have you here, Chef. And today, we're talking holiday treats and gifts and things that you might not think to do with your Dempster's bagels. Exactly. You know, bagels, everybody thinks breakfast for, uh, for their bagels. And it really is a good bagel for breakfast. But you can actually think a little bit widespread, especially with the holidays coming up. Mm -hmm. You know, you can tie the two together really, really well. And the cinnamon raisin bagel that we have, yes. you know, it's got that warm cinnamon flavor and it's sweet. It actually reminds you of the holidays. It kind of smells like you're baking a pie. It does, doesn't yeah. it? And so yeah. when you're doing it, you know, I like apple butter. Mm. And when What's, you do apple butter. Is there butter in apple butter? No, it actually gets the consistency. So when you cook the apples, you cook it, you cook it, and it's got natural petting in the apples. So when you cook it, it's not like applesauce. If it was applesauce, you wouldn't be able to do this. Oh, so, <laughs> I love that's a good, good taste. When your apple butter's ready, you can actually hold it like that. And that's what you do is you take your apples, you dice them, you chop them, you put the same flavors that's in the Dempsey's bagel, the cinnamon. I put a little cardamom in there as well. That's what this is. That's and you the chop them all up. Okay. And you skin, and the seeds actually produce pectin, which is going to thicken that puree. So as you oh. keep the seeds in there. Keep the skin in there. So cook it for about an hour. How do you get the seeds in the skin? Then you yeah. strain it. Oh, okay. And then you put it in a slow cooker and you cook it for about six hours. I like slow and slow. You can cook it sooner, three hours, a little higher. Low but and low slow. and slow is the way to go. If you don't like straining, because that straining part's a little harder. What you do is you actually get one of these, you know, everybody's got one of these at home. Everybody, Julian and Bond. You, Absolutely you, everybody has one of these. Peel do it, it, do it, you show core it. it. Go for it. It'll work. There we go. It'll it'll it'll, it'll find its way. Oh, there, there we go. go. We have one of these at home, and I get the kids to do it, and then I'm forced Brian to make apple pie. And those work really, really well for taking just pure apple out of there. Yeah. Yes. But then you would have to add a little bit of pectin to this. Oh, okay. So that and way you can cook buy it out. And now we don't just strain it. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, and yeah, what I, I like to use to is these little tea bags. These are empty tea bags. And I put my cinnamon in there, my spice in there. That goes in the puree, and you cook it all down. It's easier, no mess, no fuss. Delicious. Look at that. No and more what streaming. you do is you pop your Dempsey's bagel right out of the, ba out of the toaster. You get that jam, and there's that. That's why we call it butter, because it's like the consistency of so, butter. So no added and sugar. No added sugar. A little bit. I like to put a little bit of sugar, a little yeah. bit of lemon juice. Okay. Good and to that know. just goes on. They see the consistency, and it's delicious, and Lovely. it's sweet, and it's amazing. You know I'm tasting that. Beautiful that. alternative. That's happening. Okay. Sorry, I stole it right from you there. <laughs> Next one. So, mm. grilled cheese. Oh, <laughs> everybody goes grilled cheese. But yeah. grilled cheese with a cinnamon raisin bagel is that? Does that make any sense? It makes perfect sense. And I here's love savory what? and sweet. Caramelized onions. Brie, you put the two together. So I put the caramelized onions already on the a little uh, bagel here. I put a little bit of mustard underneath, a little bit of olive oil on this side, and all you do, Jody, is take some of that cheese and place it right on the cheese. Just break it up like yeah, that. Yeah, nice big chunks. Big chunks. You know, you're sitting there. It's lunchtime. The holidays are about indulging a little bit. Right. So you got the nice healthy bagel underneath there. You got this beautiful brie, and brie goes oh, yeah. with everything. Brie goes everything. On. I could see making a, up a couple of these and cutting them into quarters and then serving them up for my girlfriends oh. with a little glass of vino. You know what I'm saying, girls? That would be amazing. Here's a couple more minutes too. on the grill, and then oh, you put it on so a lovely pretty. board. I mean, look at that. You could get that in a restaurant. Mm -hmm. You serve it warm, melted. This is a honey mustard, little pickles, and then you got the best honey of all. Honey mustard, well. pickles, cinnamon raisin, oh caramelized my onion, gosh. brie bagel. And as you do, I love you, you right. Julian Actually, Bond. a little canopy like that would be right? fantastic. Right? Love it. Last one. Dips. Okay, while well, I eat this, you talk dips. <laughs> <laughs> bagel chips. I love bagel chips. And you can buy them pre-made or you can actually just take a bagel, thinly slice them, toss them in a little olive oil. It's beautiful. Hummus. People like hummus. People like and hummus. And hummus is like, oh, do you make hummus? Not sure how to make hummus. I make my hummus with cauliflower. And what I've done is taken a cauliflower like this and you just grate the whole cauliflower right on a grater. <laughs> and then you added grated ginger. So you take ginger, leave the skin on, and you grate the ginger in there. Cauliflower oil, ginger. And yeah. you roast it. Okay. Put a little cardamom in there if you want. A little so like it, Now, are you going like 350? I'm going to go 400. No, let's do 325, 350. 325, 350. For about 10 minutes. Oh, that's all. Because okay. you're grating you it, it's so already. fine. Okay. And that's all I did with this. And it becomes, actually, people make fried rice instead of using rice. Using that as cauliflower is actually fantastic. You don't have to sell me on roasted cauliflower. Then, I love it. To, uh, to take it a little step further, a little lemon juice. Right. Kick it up with the this citrus. This is tahini. Mm -hmm. Which, which is, goes in the hummus. Which goes in the hummus. It's like a uh, sesame paste is probably the best way of saying it. You buy tahini, you don't make you tahini. You don't make it. You right. could, but it's no. just, you know, some products in the world are just easier to make. So while you're stirring that, going to yes. tell people Dempster's Bagels, easy to find. You can follow on Twitter. Absolutely. You can check out their website. For They've got a lot of great recipe ideas as well We've on their website. We've got tons of recipe ideas yeah. on Dempster's.ca. You can go and you're going to find all these lovely recipes and more just thinking outside the circle.
You know, so just, oh, you like yeah, that? Yeah. That's actually a really good one. And then but you, you don't do have to tell me day, twice with this. You go in there, you put it on a little platter. Right. You have some fun with the platter, and you have some fantastic different ideas using our friends, Dempster's Bagels. And can I just point out that Julian has brought a little piece of slate that actually says dip <laughs> on it. I love you. <laughs> Get your uh, Dempster's Bagels uh, and try this, because honestly, this is one of the best things I've tasted on the show. Yes. A cinnamon breakfast. raisin bagel with brie cheese caramelized onions. I'm all in.